Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time. If you are new, we are back to watch another episode of Rings of Power. This is Season 2, Episode 6. It is called, Where Is He? I feel like each episode of this show just gets better and better, uh, so I don't want to talk too much before jumping into it, so we're just going to do a little bit of house cleaning before we get to it. If you end up enjoying my reaction, please leave a like on the video. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And then if you want to see the full length, consider supporting me on Patreon or YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, let's jump into Season 2, Episode 6 of The Rings of Power. Okay. Around here, I was like, who is running? Elves run so weird. I don't care what they call us. Anything's better than dying to help add it or chase a ghost. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Easy. His hair looks a little longer, like he's been traveling for a bit. Is that a map? Okay. He rings of men. Why do you still defy me? You who live not, breathe not. Possess not mind, nor will. What pride is woven in your inmost self? That you resist my hand. Damn, they are really struggling. Again. More mithril. There is no more mithril. The dwarves have been tardy with their delivery. And greedy with it. Gonna need some gold in there. Go and answer it. Must I do everything myself? We are laboring as hard as we can. Some of us have noticed you seem especially ill-tempered of late, my lord. Yeah, totally not his fault, though. <laughs> what is your name again, Smith? You know who she is. You don't remember? Of course I remember. Just, just... Give me a moment. Lord Calibrim. Give me a moment, I said! Everyone take a respite. Ah, <sighs> oh, you twister of minds. She's called Mirdania. Cannot be expected to remember everything. Okay, but that's important. <laughs> that's a person's name that he's worked with for a long time. Earlier, I, I could have sworn I left my creasing hammer. Just here. And, and... You mean that hammer? Oh my god. <laughs> He's... Oh, twisting your mind, brother. I am well. You're not, though. He's forcing you to be unwell. Until the nine are complete. Nothing else matters. Very well then. Do the elves actually want an audience? The dwarves are late with our mithril. Could you see to it? At once. Yeah, he'll totally see to it. Washed up this morning. He appeared to be carrying a message. What's it say though? Bury him. Shall I inform Lord Celebrimbor? No. He has asked me to see to it that no one is permitted to disturb him. For now, all we can do is leave him in solitude. Give him time. Let the Pray. infection fester. My lord, the carving. On the body. What did it say?
Where is he? They're talking about him. <laughs> All part of his plan. Raspberries? Damn, he be eating good. His eye bores a hole, and the rest of him slithers in. She knows all about that. For a while, he even makes you believe that his power has become yours. She knows all too well. What did he promise you? An army. It is not his lies which must be extinguished. It is him. And I can help you do it. I can help you destroy Sauron. What help could you possibly provide, Orc? Orc. You know, tell us about your past, potentially? Kept the crown. I was told. There are many stories of what happened after the seal marils were pried from its settings. But I was there when Sauron refired it to fit himself. And I was the one who used its power to slay him. If what you say is true. I mean, you only stabbed him once. He would have been fine. Why did he return? He got stabbed like 90 other times. Together, this crown and your rings would be powerful enough to truly destroy Sauron forever. Don't tempt her. Halbrand is Sauron, isn't he? Okay. He's he's known the in his heart. City now rests on your ability to put aside your pride. She's, like, scared of that crown. The crime of high treason. High treason? Taken in sum, these hideous breaches of law Sent warrant death. a sentence of death. Yes! My brother in Christ. Given his many years of faithful service to our kingdom, it is Exile. the judgment of this court that the accused be set free. Man, he is playing these people. Provided, of course, he renounces his crimes and pledges his loyalty to Numenor's true ruler. And not gonna do it. son of Amandil, do you renounce your crimes? Hell nah. Screw you. Kick rocks. I do. Oh. And do you accept our Farazon as Numenor's true king? I do not. <laughs> Speak louder, Lendil. You're a goddamn right. So that the assembled may hear you properly. You probably don't want him to speak loudly. I do not. For Numenor's true ruler is now, and to the end of her days, Miriel, daughter of Tarpalantia! And the only Damn traitor right. here is you. That's what's up. That's what's up. Tell him how it is. Unfortunately, now what are we to the do crime is punishable you by have death. Done quite enough, boy. Yeah, you idiot child. Tell me what I must do. Follow old Tom, for he will show you. Okay. I've been tending that tree since I was big enough to balance a rake. And it's a good tree. You see this place? It's not just where we live. It's who they are. It's our home. Turn myself in now. There's a chance I can get Poppy out too. 
Well, she's on a date right now. Why are you looking at me like that? Because he's in love with you. Wow. They move quick. Oh yeah, I forgot his actual name's Merrick Mac. Which one is it? You'll find your true staff only when the vision of your what heart is, is single. Is this bleach? Of a secret fire. You gotta find the real sword. Somehow I know that unless I find her soon, she will die. Both of them will die. Many that die deserve life. Some that live deserve death. Who are you to give it to them? Once I know that she's safe, I could return to you. No. You cannot. He'll be gone by then. Turn away now, and you can never return to this path. Is there no other way? Sauron rises in the west, a dark wizard in the east. Every soul in Middle-earth is in peril. Would you abandon them to their doom? Can't, dude. You gotta, you gotta friend. pick your, pick your staff. Your friend, or your destiny. The choice is yours. Maybe he's tricking you. Maybe you're supposed to help your friend. Maybe that's the thing. You think you're supposed to be finding a, a staff, but you're actually supposed to go help Nori. Damn, they. Have a lot of gold. He summoned me, Father. No. He did. Ah, uh, you rat bastard. I have just learned that Iregion is under threat of invasion. Without Mithril, the remaining rings of power may never be complete. We need more. And we need it now. Perhaps we'd be wise to discuss this first in private. There's nothing to discuss. He's already accepted. I've already decided. And um, what if the answer is no? The answer is no. Oh. Please. What a my twist. regrets to Lord Calabrimbor. He's become greedy. He doesn't want to give up any of his stuff. King Durin. Prince. Farewell. Enjoy the Balrog. He's gonna go antagonize him <laughs> before he leaves. Thank Auli. For a moment, I was afraid you'd taken leave of all your senses. He's just greedy. He doesn't want to give up any of his stuff. War is coming to Middle Earth. And the army that bears the weapons and armor of Mithril is all but invincible. We can name our price. <laughs> Have you gone mad? Wants to become a warmonger now. Take off the ring. I will not. <sighs> it is mine. My precious. It belongs to me. No. You belong to it. You've already been claimed. Damn. A dwarf on that throne is not your father. As long as he's wearing that ring, he's deaf to all other voices, even ours. And every dwarf in this yeah. mountain's in peril. He's gonna get you all killed digging too deep. Durin, you, are you? Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it, Disa. I look at him. And in his eyes, I... sees someone else. I still see my father. 
But it's not Lost him anymore. Far away, yes, but he's still in there. That's tough. That's tough. At dawn, you are to be cast into the sea to face trial by abyss. What happens if he completes the trial? After everything this family has lost, I cannot lose you two. Well, this is of your own making. Swallow your pride. If after all this, all you see is pride, then there are no words left for us to speak. Damn, girl. You are blinded. Grief has taken your sight from you. Bow to Farazon. I command it. Faith is not faith if it is not lived. Faith without works is dead. I know you are this kingdom's true heir. I cannot deny that knowledge. Were I to do so, I would cease to be the man you wish to save. What if you're wrong? And I would rather die with a heart that is whole than live with one broken by cowardice. You guys should kiss. What of my heart? If it is the will of the Valar, then my life be spared. It is. Trust. Then it will be. Trust the process. Disa! What's Disa? Kraken, Gailey? Go ahead and try it. She'll sing at you. Until you die. <laughs> oh, she is gonna sing at them. Okay. That meant to frighten us off. No. They are. Is it bats? <laughs> what the heck? She commands them. What a freak. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> love me later. Oh, he will. How confident are they that this worm thing will appear? Release him! Given that his crime was committed in my name. Girl, no, don't take this blame I for have him. I the right to face the Valar's judgment in his place. Now this is a, a big political move. Are you willing to kill the queen? She's correct. It's and a public outcry that'll come with it? You can't, you cannot. If we are to walk the path of the faithful. It must be me who takes the first step. Well, this will certainly be a poignant message if she survives. And so a giant worm is supposed to come? Maybe it will not see fear in her eyes because she can't see it. <laughs> You're goddamn right. Hail! Tarriel! Queen of the Sea! 
<laughs> is she queen again now? <laughs> Who's in charge? Is it her or her cousin? Is, it, does that mean she's back in authority? What does this mean for the political stewardship of this nation? Yes, Halbrand is Sauron. You and I will eradicate all trace of Sauron from this world. Never to return. And what then? Well, then you fight each other. All of Eregion may well be under Sauron's control by now. It will take far more than a legion of your children to lay siege to it. Did you really He's think got I multiple would legions. to challenge the might of Sauron? And a giant troll. A single legion. Got a, a decent amount of them. It's a decent amount of them. That's like a billion. The Region will fall. And Sauron with it. No. This must be what he wants. Sauron has no army of his own. He wants to so claim he's yours. yours here instead. He wants you to attack a region. Binder, you will be useful later. No. Do not do this. Do not take his law. I will make him choke on it. No! Ah. This is all his design. This is what Sauron wants. This is what he wants. It is what he wants, we know this. Yeah, that's probably not good. Exactly what he wanted. Brother, you're gonna have to make these rings quick. <laughs> if you want to have them done by the time the attack is over. How fares your progress? Did you not hear that? You belong in here, my friend. I've had quite enough of you telling me where I belong! Oi! Unhand me, friend. We are not friends. Leave this tower now. And when the men of Middle-earth fall, I swear to you, every soul in the seen or unseen world will know that it was you who was the architect of their demise. We still have nine rings to forge. Everyone will still know. Oh, he's doing some magic trickery. <laughs> if only you knew. All right, go back inside. I have been to Khazad Doom. Me thrill all. He stole some. Refined to a powder by Narvi himself. From the purest deposit yet found in their minds, one ninth portion of her ring. It should be enough. When the history of this age is written, the Silmarils, well. That will be light work compared to what you're doing. They will merit little more than a whisper. 
Your rings. The rings of power. They will be deemed the most precious creations in all Middle Earth. Key word. Use it, my friend. Oh, the fancy hammer. Isn't that That's his dad's fair. hammer? Or Feanor's hammer? The illusion. Yep. That's crazy that he could just manipulate him like that. God, he's so good. He's so good. It's gonna cut out like right at the end. Oh, <laughs> you rat bastard. Man, Sauron is just so freaking good. <laughs> like he just, he just so effortlessly manipulates him. Like Celebrimbor, he's like, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm figuring out what's going on with this city and it, he walks outside and it's just peaceful. It's just peaceful bliss. Meanwhile, the reality of the situation is like, the city is in complete chaos. It's, and it's, oh my God, it's just so cool to watch though. Let's, let's talk about the dwarves. So we got Disa and Durin trying to reason with the king, right? <laughs> <laughs> they they keep digging deeper and deeper, getting richer and richer, uh, and, you know, there's not much they can really do to stop what what's going on. We know eventually they're going to dig so deep that uh, the Balrog will be truly awakened um, and is going to end up killing everybody. We don't know... It, I mean, we know what's going to happen this season. I don't know if it's going to happen next episode or maybe the finale uh, will be, like, where it takes place because I feel like next episode is going to be the, the Siege of Eregion. But, yeah, the the king has been claimed, has been consumed by the ring. You know, as much as, um, you know, lore tells us that the, the dwarves were kind of able to resist... Um, the the rings a little bit i think actually i think what they tell us is the the dwarves were not like claimed by sauron like sauron couldn't control them but the rings themselves still had effects on them like they became really greedy like the king specifically has become so greedy uh and he very much feels like frodo or um, even Smeagol did when they had possession of the One Ring, where they're like, it's mine. Like, why should I take it off? <laughs> it's like, brother, because it, it has taken your soul. <laughs> like, you don't realize. Like, what you're doing is dangerous. <laughs> like, I don't think you understand. And Durin's trying to be like, brother, you need to take it off. Um, and Sauron appears. Sauron's like, hey, we need more Mithril. Like, I want to. I want to trade with you. I want Mithril. Will give you timber. Like it'll be a great, prosper, prosperous relationship. He's trying to. He's trying to um, make sure both sides of his plan are prospering, right? And the king is like, no, <laughs> like I'm not going to give you what you want because he wants them to become more desperate. He's like, I see a war brewing, not just this battle here at Eregion. Like I'm willing to let Eregion fall because it's gonna fester this middle earth sized war and I can be the one who supplies the winner. He sees supplying 
Middle Earth with Mithril as the way for the dwarves to come out on top, to be the richest they have ever possibly been, right? He's truly a warmonger, a, a, a war profiteer at this point. And his son is like, what are you doing, father? <laughs> like, take off the ring. And he just smacks him across the, the stone, and it's just like, oh my god. And little do they know, Sauron took the mithril anyway. Like, he didn't even need to ask their permission. He can just steal it. <laughs> like, he doesn't need help. He just takes it. Um, and it's, it's tough. The king's just going to continue his dig, but... You know, Durin and Disa, they're like, we're going to literally become like tree huggers. We're going to lay our bodies on the line in front of this uh, dig site. And if the king is so bold as to attack his own son, it will show to the rest of the dwarves that he is not fit to rule. And I agree. Um, I don't know how effective it'll be, but I like the sentiment. Uh, it was sad to watch Durin cry because he's like, I still see him in there. Like, I can see the the man that I've known. He's he's deep in there. He's hiding, but he's there. And it's tough because at a certain point, you you have to make the choice. Like, even though I can still see him there, I don't think I'll be able to get him back. Um, and so he has to make the choice of, like, gotta, gotta do what's right. And who knew Disa could... Uh, control bats with her singing that's insane so we'll see what happens with that eventually within the next two episodes they're waking up the Balrog which is not good but um, <laughs> speaking of another uh, mythical monster we have uh, the Numenor plot so due to the events of last episode uh, Elendil is sentenced to death uh, by the old ways right so he's gonna have to go and be claimed by a sea monster and if he is allowed to live then he's innocent but if he's not you know sucks to suck and they have this whole thing with his daughter where she's like begging him not to do it because she's like why can't like i don't want to lose any more people like let go of your pride and he's like if all you see is pride then i don't know what to tell you <laughs> like this is not about me <laughs> and uh, i mean I agree with him. Like, it's it's bigger than his pride, for sure. Like, it's much bigger than his pride. But at the same time, a little bit of it is his pride. <laughs> you know? Uh, he, he, is a, he is a proud man, and he is proud of his faith, and he's not gonna forsake that faith uh, just to, you know, get out of the punishment, right? Even though it's unjust, he's still gonna submit himself. And... Yeah, I mean, he, it's tough. Even the queen, even the queen is like, just, just bow to him, like, like give up. And he is like, faith, he, he essentially gives the line, faith without works is dead. Um, you know, if you're not living out your faith, do you actually have faith? Which is a very poignant message that a lot of people uh, need to remember. You know, rag on Catholics all you want, but they got that part of it right. <laughs> But yeah, he's he, he's ready. He's ready to be claimed, and he's about to. And then the queen steps in herself, which is like, I'm surprised Farazone like let it go through because at that point, like, yeah, like you are you willing to really start a civil war? <laughs> like at this point, you're firmly in control. Like you have control of the city. Like yeah, there are people that support her. But they're kind of now on the back burner. You have the main support of the city. Like, her stepping up to be like, I will take the punishment is kind of a lose-lose situation for him. Because if she goes in and is drowned, like, she gets taken and is killed, like, that is just... That, all that's going to do is so outrage in the city. It's just going to it's gonna have people shouting in the streets like Farazon killed the queen. Uh, and then he'll truly be seen as someone who like usurped the crown and, and did a did an old-fashioned coup <laughs> and killed the queen. Like it, it, it can't look good for him if she dies. And it looks even worse when she lives. Like the monster claims her. 
and then spits her back out and and she has been deemed worthy and now they got people shouting in the streets queen of the sea like <laughs> like brother you you screwed up by letting this happen like you're an idiot <laughs> and because of his embarrassment he's going to be going to the palantir and he's going to seek sauron's aid and it's not going to be bueno and it's going to lead to the downfall of numenor and it's, it's real rough but I have questions about the logistics now. Like, so at this point, he is, he was like the ruler, like the de facto ruler. He got to make the laws and stuff. Now that she has been saved by the Valar, right? And, and people are chanting queen of the sea. Like, is she now back in charge? Like, does she get to sit on the throne? Like what? What's happening with that specifically? I don't know the hierarchy at this point. I assume we'll find out, though. Um, but then the biggest situation in this episode is Oregion, both in terms of the the orcs, uh, the Uruks that are ready to lay siege, and then uh, Celebrimbor's situation. So we'll, let's talk about the Uruks. So uh, Adar has Galadriel imprisoned and he's like we can work together shows her this crown and is like i was there i was there and they kind of bond a little bit where they talk about like the different ways that sauron just works his way into your mind and she reveals to him th that uh elrond has the ring and inadvertently gives up that that halbrand is sauron now as if I was Adar, as soon as I heard, like, as soon as she confirmed that Halbrand is Sauron, I would have been like, oh, shit. Like, why are we, like, we're not supposed to be here. <laughs> we should leave. Like, I, I don't know. It's tough. Because she's even, she's telling him at the end. She's like, this is part of his plan. He wanted you here. Like, he doesn't have an army of his own. Like, there's no way he would have been able to lay siege to this city without your help. And... At that point, I feel like Adar is just too blinded by, like, the desire. He's like, I'm so close. Like, I'm literally across the river from this guy. If I can just get him, <laughs> like, that's what he's thinking. He doesn't realize he's... I mean, he realizes. He just... I don't know if he thinks it's important enough, <laughs> right? You know, he, he definitely remembers Halbrand coming and being like, you need to go to a Region. <laughs> like, he he's fully aware at this point that the only reason he's here at Eregion's doorsteps is because Sauron directed him to come here. Um, but he's like, you know what? At this point, we're already here. Might as well go full bore, not realizing this is all been orchestrated by Sauron. Like, they literally talk about in the inside of the episode how at the end he puts his arms out like a conductor and the orchestra builds and it's like... He, he orchestrated all this. Like, this is his plan. Um, and Galadriel is like, do you need to stop? <laughs> like, this is bad. He's, he's controlling you. And it's just, oh, he's so good. He's so good. And then you, you couple the fact, that fact with what he's doing to Keller Brimbor. And it's just insane, brother. <laughs> like, you have, you have all of the Smiths losing faith in Keller Brimbor. They're like, dude, you're kind of going insane, right? Like, he's he's really spiraling. <laughs> he's struggling a lot, and he Sauron convinces all the smiths to leave and not disturb him. You know, he essentially locks this man alone in the tower to just spiral and fester and really stew in that corruption, <laughs> right? He's, he's driving this man insane. And then when it comes to the point where Kel is finally going to fight back and he shoves him into a wall, he's like, I'm going outside. I'm going to figure out what's happening. Uh, Sauron does a little, like, he's like, kind of look like a snake almost, where he's just, like, writhing. And then you go outside, everything's peaceful. Everything's beautiful. <laughs> and it's just like, brother, like, the manipulation. He's so good. <laughs> he's literally got this man convinced that he will be the greatest of them all if he can just get the job done. He's like, finish the Nine Rings and the Cimmerils will be a distant whisper. 
compared to what you've created. And it's just, oh, he's so good. <laughs> he's so good. And then the moment where Keller Brimber goes back inside and then the camera turns and you just see the shift in the, in the illusion to, to reality and everyone's in chaos and running. And then the episode ends as the siege starts and you have these trebuchets f shooting fireballs. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's rough. It is rough. Um, and I have to imagine probably all of next episode is going to be the siege. Uh, I'm curious how much Elrond is going to be involved because they showed Elrond fighting in, in like armor and stuff. And there's like elves, I think elves, on horseback. So I'm curious how they're all going to integrate into this battle. But it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. And then we also have to see the Balrog at some point. Like it is really, really building and it's so good. <laughs> like this show is legit awesome. And I'm really excited to see where it goes. I think that's all I have to say though. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. I'm very curious to see how you feel. Otherwise, if you enjoyed my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next time.